Hi, so if you've been following the channels, the last couple of videos have been about pulling apart LCDs for recovering the bits. Now, LCD displays are just thrown away and there's a ton of really useful bits and pieces in there. If you're interested, have a look at those two videos. But what we get out of it is a whole load of this stuff. Now, obviously, I've got lots of this because I've pulled quite a few to pieces. And what this is, is a lenticular Fresnel lens or a prism film. Um, it's amazing stuff, actually, when you think about it, and I've been really interested in getting a use for that, maybe in a solar application. And a friend of mine wrote to me saying, well, Rob, if you take your solar cell and lay it on top, all that happens is you reduce the power output. And that makes sense, because you just put an extra thickness of absorbing material on it. Then another chap wrote to me saying, you should have a look at the work of this Canadian guy. So I skipped over to this Canadian chap to have a look at what he was doing, and to be honest, it's awesome! So I decided to replicate what he was doing and share it with you. And that's what we're going to have a look at. We're going to have a look at that replication of the Canadian guy's work. So let's go see. OK, so all I've got here is a little solar panel over on the right there that I bought from uh, Macklin when it was still trading. And then we've attached the uh, meter to it. It's reading uh, amps at the moment, 0.746 amps. And the load on it is a coil. It's a heating coil from a kiln, actually. And um, at that amps and the volts. The volts is about 20 volts. It actually gets quite warm. OK, and you'll see this mysterious bit of timber at the bottom there. I feel like I'm a magician whipping the blanket off of something. <laughs> It's ridiculous but I've covered that up because I'm about to pull it off and I want you to see the difference between the amps when it's um, uncovered and when it's covered so we've got it covered there and look at that that jumped to 0.834 of an amp so it went from 0.7 to 0.8 that's amazing actually That's a huge jump. And if I cover that up again. Drops by another point one of a volt, more or less. So you're looking at something like a 12, 15% increase just for what I did there. So let me show you what I did there. Okay, it's dead simple. That is a lenticular lens. So there's a bit of prism film we pulled from the LCD and behind it is a mirror. Now the mirror will increase it and the lenticular lens will increase it but together they have a massive impact. Now I originally used a bit of aluminium foil that worked quite well as well and then I picked this mirror out of the bathroom tried that and that worked superbly. So apparently a bit of a mirror surface lenticular foil over the top of it and we get a 12% <laughs> increase in the um, energy that a little solar panel like that can work, um, can put output. Now, I obviously um, put that together really quickly because I wanted to demonstrate it to you. But the Canadian chapter is kind of like a funnel. So he doesn't just stop with one there. He puts one to the side like that and another to the other side like that. And he's reporting something like 50% improvement in power. It does get hot because you're effectively focusing the sun. So the other thing that he did was he took another one and bent it around like that. Now you get a 10% drop in power, but a massive drop in heat buildup. So quite simply, if you lay a lenticular foil on a mirror and stick it around your solar panel, it will improve the output. Obviously, um, to put big sheets like that around a solar panel isn't going to work particularly well. So the next thing he did, and I thought this was super cool, he cut what he called slats, which are that thin. And he put those on, and they would fit on his roof solar panels, and he got something like 40% power increase. So, awesome work by that Canadian guy. I'm not being coy about the name, I just can't remember it. But I'm pretty sure that it'll get reposted in the comments. So have a look at the comments. When that gets reposted, jump across and have a look what he's doing. But basically, we took the film out of an LCD, some aluminium foil, wrapped it around our solar cell, and got a huge improvement in the uh, output of that cell. So it's a really cheap and easy way for you to increase the output by 
apparently 40% for nothing more than surrounding it with a bit of lenticular film. I just thought that was so cool I had to share it. Now, of course, the Canadian guy has done what most of these people do. He's rushed off to the patent office and put a patent on this stuff. Well, good luck to him. Hope he sells it. But patents don't cover home experimentation. It's sure, you can't make and sell this stuff. But if you want to make this for your own personal use and for your own experimentation, the patent doesn't cover him. And you're quite happy to go ahead and do that. Nobody's going to stop you. Nobody's going to complain. Nobody can do anything about it. So if you want to make your own system, feel free. It's really dirt cheap and really easy to do. Anyway, I was so impressed by that, I just had to share it with you. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.